Thank you. Who else had questions? Over there. Stand on up. Hi, what's your name? Maria. What would you like to ask? Um, I just want to know if she sees anybody and someone passed away two years ago. And what do you need to ask them? I just want to know if he's okay. He, he's okay. Um, he's more concerned with your emotional state at times and not getting, um, I guess, the help that you need for that with the, the depression at times. Not depression, but just that overwhelming feeling if everything's going to be okay and if they're okay. Um, he's fine. Did he give you some kind of a piece of jewelry or a ring shortly or something before he passed? Or did somebody... Yeah. Okay. Um, what they're telling me is that's a very important piece and you, you need to remember and reevaluate what was going on at that time when they gave it to you. Um, and to not have any guilt about anything because he says that there's guilt there that shouldn't be um, and, and that they're okay. And, and, go ahead. I want to know if my son is going to get married. Um, eventually. <laughs> um, eventually, yeah, I, I feel a partner with them. Um, the, the concern is that they, they're looking for a true partner and um, he, he's very particular in what he needs and what he wants, so, um, but he will. Are you hoping for some grandchildren? I have one. You have one? Beautiful okay. One from my daughter. Ah, nice. no, but but okay. I, I feel he will. Thank you. Thank you. Did somebody else? Oh, back here. Okay. Stand up. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm Nikki. Um, I'm making some changes both in relationships and in my career, and I guess I just need to know if I'm heading in the right direction and like what you see in terms of time frames and where I kind of end up. In the relationship, one absolutely. Um, it's going to take about another. 12 to 16 weeks to kind of figure that one out so that you can move forward with the career one. Um, and in, in dealing with the relationship stuff is going to um, be the launching point to the career change. Now, are you thinking of moving out of state for a new job? No. no. Okay, because I see an offer for you. Um, I see two separate positions coming in and an offer to maybe move away but it will be for a short time and then come back. What positions are they? Because I, I'm trying to make a complete career change, but I don't know what I want to be when what I grow What are you up. looking at? Because we've only got like three minutes here. So are, are you in the profession of helping people, like nursing or something like that? Um, well, I was a social worker, but now I'm in sales. Okay. The sales stuff looks more medical to me. So medical, either pharmaceutical, medical, and I feel that that's a strong point for you. Um, more on the pharmaceutical end. So um, I feel that, that that's the one that you need to go with. Okay. So it, it all depends on your relationship choice, and you'll be fine with dealing with that. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Anybody else here? You have one? No? Okay. Over here? Okay. Well, they can't Stand up. Get to you next. Double dipping, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Career-wise, do you see anything, any changes to make? I feel over the next three to six months there's going to be a lot of changes within your unit and, and where you're working. I feel that you'll be okay. Um, there's going to be two separate rounds of what goes on. And in that second round, you're going to have a choice of switching and doing something else um, with more responsibility. So I would do that. Um, it may not be what you exactly want to do, but if they give you the opportunity, please take it because um, it, it's going to be a better position. In the same agency? In the same agency. So I see change within the agency, two different rounds of change. Um, one February, one June, July. The June, July is going to be a really good opportunity for you. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, we got to get to some other people. Stand on up. What's your name? Victoria. Hi. Um, my grandfather died recently, and I was just kind of wondering about him. If he's at peace, stuff like that. He's at peace, and what he's saying is at times if he seemed hard on you, or it, it was more out of um, 
not choice but by design because of the way he grew up. And there were certain things that he expected, but he is proud of you and he knows that you're going to be okay. Um, but he, he keeps saying, please just tell her I'm proud of her and, and for her not, not to think that I wasn't. Just things are supposed to be a certain way and they just don't understand that anymore, mm -hmm. whatever that means to you. Um, was there a, um, a box, a little box with pictures or something in it? Um, he gave me a jewelry box for my 16th birthday, but I don't know okay. want pictures. Um, so it's the jewelry box, but there's something to do with pictures. Okay. A picture of the two of you. You look around three or four, um, and, and that's an important picture. Your, your mother or your father, somebody has that. Because I see it's an open view. It's on something. And he wants to make sure that you get that. Um, there was also, did he give you a ring or a piece of jewelry at any point when you graduated or something special? No. There's, there's a piece of jewelry that you're supposed to have that's mm -hmm. important. And when you get it from that side of the family, you need to keep it with you and make sure um, that it's with you at all times. Because he's saying that's important so he can find you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Over here, anyone? Stand on up. I loaned an acquaintance friend a uh, sufficient amount of money and would like very much to know if I'm going to get paid back for that. I want to travel. I want to go and do things. And that's another thing. I want to know if I'm going to be very shortly again traveling. Um, I feel the travel, but I feel the person that you loan the money to is really having some financial issues. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need to either come to some kind of agreement terms, okay. and they're going to need to start paying it back, because if not, you may have to take the next step. Um, with the traveling, are you thinking of going overseas to like Europe or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, little concern with that. Not anything drastic like the plane's going to blow up or anything like that. I'm concerned with food poisoning or some kind of um, food or waterborne um, illness. Okay, so please be careful um, with water especially because I'm seeing something within the system that's really wrecking havoc. You're not going to die or anything like that. I'm not even concerned with that. I just the illness is going to linger for like six to nine months. Ooh. So I'm, con yeah, trust wow. me, because I'm feeling it. <laughs> wow. um, so it has to do with water or food. Okay. Um, was it Europe you were going to? Yes, where, I've where? been and I want to go, I want to go some more, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, does one of the towns start with an L? Um, That's where you need to be careful. Okay, I'll watch for that then because I, I would want to travel to many different areas. Uh, yeah, it, it's either the town that starts with an L or the, the pub, the restaurant, the, it starts with, there's like a big L and the L goes all the way across and then the, the rest of the name is in, you know, like the L like this. So just be careful Okay. because the, the, the sickness is, I don't feel very well. <laughs> So just what I want to make it clear okay. that you got to be careful of that. Okay. And Andrew was nice enough to give us uh, a reading for someone, a mm -hmm. free half an hour. So I'm going to give that to you. Oh. Give oh. a nice personal <laughs> reading. So give her a hand. Okay. You're welcome. Who else have questions over here?